Well, good afternoon. The Saturday before Christmas. Soon the holidays will be over. And then we'll know that we can make the right choice for you. Right? Make right for you choices. That's the name of the book this week. Or the, the pamphlet. Um, I didn't make some very good choices this week. But you know, it's a holiday. Not that that's an excuse. But I'm always telling you I'm trying to be honest with you. And... Christmas is on Tuesday, and then I'm going to be back to it. Uh, Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve will be my only struggling day because I don't do anything on New Year's Day itself, except for um, take the decorations and things like that down. So um, I just have to get through my Eve of Christmas Eve dinner tomorrow, my Christmas Eve breakfast on Monday, and Christmas dinner on Tuesday, and then I'm right back at it completely, and I'm going to be perfect. I'm, well, not perfect. I'm going to be better. I should say that. I'm going to be better. And then the recipe is for a gingerbread meringue tart. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you the recipe if you want to do it for yourself. If you do try it, let me know because I don't think I'm going to be trying it. I did have a gain. Um, I knew I was going to have a gain. I uh, really wasn't too concerned about the gain. I enjoyed myself this week. Uh, I did beat myself up a little bit, I'll be honest with you, but... Uh, this is this is my life and this is how I how I deal with it and uh, I had a bigger gain than I thought on my scale at home I only showed 3.8 gain but as you can see I had a 4.6 gain which is not the best it's not the best that I could have been I have a little sad face on there and as you can see, I'm back in the 40s. That's that's the shocker. That's the reality check for me because I was down to 227 and I'm slowly inching my way back up. And I, I mean, I'm just barely in the 240s, but I, but it has a 40. It has a 240. And that is not going to work for me for my plan. So I definitely have a plan that I am going to have a loss next week because um, I'm just... Uh, I, I'm just not. I got my, I got my charms. I got my book. Um, I got my. She said she could. She believed she could, and she did. I have that. I have my little, lucky little, bird, and I have my little prayer. So, I'm I'm just all set. I really am all set. I I'm gonna struggle for the next couple days, but um, I you know I, you know I I don't try to lead you astray, but uh, I like to be honest with my journey. I really do. It's just, I struggle just like everybody struggles. And the people out there that, I, there are so many YouTubers and I'm not, I know it sounds like I'm judging and I'll probably get a thumbs down. And it's not that I'm judging. It's just that I, I understand the feeling of being so embarrassed that you've gained weight that so many people stop doing YouTube because they're embarrassed that they've gained weight and they, um, they don't want to admit it. So they just stop doing the, the videos. And then after a while, they come back. And I have nothing against that. But that's just not who I am. That's I'm going to show you my highs and my lows. And lately, I've had a lot of lows. I really have a lot of lows. Because I've had a lot of gains in the last month or two or three. And um, I, I just think I need to reassess my life and reassess my plan, reassess where I'm going. And, and that's what I need to do. So my quote is, I'm working on myself for myself by myself. And what I mean by that quote is I'm still going to share my journey with you, but I'm going to stop comparing myself to other YouTubers that are doing so much better than me. And they've lost so much more weight than me. And I, I think that I get into my mind, well, if so-and-so can do this, then I can do this. And so-and-so has reached their goal. Why can't I reach my goal? And I have to realize that I'm talking for me. I'm just doing this for me. I want to have, be healthy. I want to be thinner. I want to be able to stay around here a lot longer, be around in the, at least another 20, 30 years. And I know when you're young and you think of 20, 30 years, you think, oh my gosh, you only watch 20 or 30 more years. That'll put me in my 80s and 90s. I'm content with that. As long as I'm moving and kicking, I, I am fine with that. But I have to do this for myself. Uh, People can tell you you need to lose weight, but unless you want to lose weight, you're not going to lose weight. People can tell you that's not good for you, but unless you tell yourself that's not good for you, it's not going to make a difference. So you have to know that in this journey that you're working by yourself, for yourself, by yourself. And um, 
look for inspiration. I'm not saying don't look for inspiration. You can always find inspiration out on YouTube. There's so many people that are inspiring. But don't compare yourself to them. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Stop comparing yourself to other people. And just work on yourself and just do what you can do for yourself. Okay, enough of that. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about the uh, pamphlet. Um, it says everything on the menu, everything is on the menu with Weight Watcher Freestyle, which is true. I can have whatever I want. I just have to figure it in and not go crazy because I did go a little crazy this week. You need to take a mindful approach to food to help you plan ahead and ensure you're eating what you really want to eat. Um, I really did want those Cheetos the other day. And I bought the bag. I should have bought a small individual size bag, but no, I bought the whole big family size bag and ate it all week. Uh, not a smart choice. Not a bad choice if I would have just got the individual bag. Uh, worst choice by buying the bigger bag. So you have to compare what's a good choice, what's a bad choice. Good choice, giving into that urge to have the Cheetos. Bad choice, buying the big bag. So I thought of it that way. Um, this, one of the things you want to do is ask, are you internally hungry? Do I truly want to eat or am I responding to some external cues? I told you the other day I had, I had, excuse my language, I had the day from hell. I mean, it was just so bad. But in comparison to my whole year, I've had so few really bad days. But on that particular day, I chose to eat poorly. I knew it was emotional, but I still did it. Where I did feel I had an accomplishment or a success in that day is the fact that even though I knew I was eating emotionally and I still ate anyhow, I acknowledged that I was eating it emotionally. I didn't try to think that uh, I was just eating it just to eat it and it really wasn't gonna matter. I knew that I was trying to fulfill an emotional need. And if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, it did fill me up that way. I did fill some of my emotions. I know they say that food will not fill your emotional needs. And that is true if it's going to be on a continual basis. If you're going to continue on every single day to have food as an emotional support, it's not going to work. But sometimes you just need that little bit of emotional support and food is comforting. Think about it. Food is involved with everything, whether it's a happy occasion like a wedding or a birthday or a sad occasion like a funeral or a death or anything like that, or if you get bad news from the doctor, you're gonna to turn to food. As long as you recognize in yourself that you're turning to food for the wrong reason, but in that moment, it's the right reason for you. And I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I'm hoping it makes sense to you. I am no way trying to tell you that it's okay to eat emotionally, eat emotionally eat every single day of the week. No, it's not. But sometimes you just need that, that small little comfort of food. and. And I think that's why God put that on earth, is so that you could have that small little bit. Just don't go crazy. Um, the another thing you have to ask, is this the best option? Sometimes hunger nudges us toward what's convenient. Is there something you'd like more that's also easy to grab? Um, the Cheetos are easy to grab. They really were easy to grab. I could have had something better. I really could have made a better choice. I could have had a better option. At that moment, I didn't want a better option. And once again, I think that you have to choose Every day you're gonna have the option of choosing healthy or unhealthy. So if you choose occasionally unhealthy, recognize it, enjoy what you're doing, enjoy what you're eating, and then just move on from there because there's no point in beating yourself up. I know preaching to the choir because I beat myself up when I go crazy, but you know what? I pride myself on the fact that even though I go crazy and I make poor choices, I share them with you. I don't try to hide the fact that I'm going crazy because you know what? We all do. We all do. And if you say that you're not, I don't believe you. I mean, I don't want to call you a liar. I'm not doing that. But I, I just don't think that anybody can say, I. Mean, there might be somebody out there. There just might be somebody out there. I have not met that person that can start a program and stay on it till the till they very get to the very end. You know what? Corey from White Watchers with Carrie, her husband, he's done that. He's an exception to the rule. He's the exception. No, I mean, there are people out there. But for the most part, people are going to be led astray. People are going to make poor choices. And you just have to recognize that and just don't beat yourself up. And what else you want to ask yourself is, will I truly enjoy this? Is this particular food worth the smart points right now? If the answer is yes, ask yourself again after the first bite. Still yes, and then ask again a few bites later. That makes sense. I could have had the Cheetos as my emotional support. I could have had a couple and then I should have stopped and said, was that enough? Do you feel satisfied now? But no, I just kept eating and eating and eating. 
I should have done that. So you want to check with yourself. So remember when to check yourself and ask yourself, am I internally hungry? Is this the best option? And will I truly enjoy this? What they also talked about at our meeting is if you could ask Santa, dear Santa, could you please ask the elves to help me with, and then you had to fill in what it was. Um, mine was to, mine was to ask the elves to help me to make it through the next couple days, enjoying my food choices and not beating myself up if I go crazy on what I pick. Know that I have every intention of getting right back on that horse and riding it into the distance, finding my trail, because I asked Santa for a new compass and a new map and a new direction to send me so that I can get to, to where I'm going. And uh, I'm tired of taking that detour and I've taken it for quite a long time. And, and now I'm working my way back to the main road and, and come January 1st, I'm on that main road and I'm, I'm sailing, not sailing through, I'm gonna be doing better. Um, so you wanna be mindful, plan to not go crazy and don't ask yourself, Maybe I shouldn't let this go. Maybe I shouldn't have this. Maybe I should do this. No, ask yourself, if I do have this cookie, is it something that I can get every day of the week? Or is it just something that's just available at Christmas time? If I have this special dish, is it something I can make every single day of the year? Or is it just something that we only get on the holidays? Be mindful of your choices. When you go to a party, if some, if my sister, I don't like pumpkin pie, but my sister Mary makes the best pumpkin pie according to my family. They all enjoy the pumpkin pie because they know that Mary's only going to make it on the holidays. She doesn't make it every other day of the year. So they're going to have a piece of pumpkin pie because Mary makes a good pumpkin pie. It's all about your choices. Pick wisely. Don't go crazy. Pick wisely. And make the program how you want the program to work. And stop comparing yourself to other people. I do that a lot. I have to stop comparing myself to other people. I have to know that this is my plan. This is my way of going. This is the way I'm going to lose my weight. And I'm not going to be letting myself judge myself, thinking other people are judging me because they don't. Um, and remember that when you're at a party or something, food is part of your life. Nobody's, my mother always said, martyrs only get to heaven that they don't have anybody, you know, like you get to heaven a little bit faster, but how did she put that? My mother always said, the only place for martyrs are for heaven or something. I don't know. Cause she used to like when you'd act like, Oh, you know, like this is so bad. And, uh, it was just a, like a, a thing, you know, like, I don't know how to put it. Now that I'm, I know my mother used to tell us all the time and I just kind of it escapes me at this moment, but it's kind of like, you know, like you're sacrificing yourself so much now and, who cares if if you're going to make yourself miserable and think that, you know what, they didn't even notice that I didn't have a piece of cake. You know, well, you know, it just, I don't know. Let's get off that subject because I don't know where I'm going with it. I apologize. Blah, 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 blah. It's back. We didn't even talk about that. Um, and you have to remember that your body knows what you're doing. If you try to sneak of something and you're eating in private and nobody sees you eating it, your body still knows you're eating it. The scale at, at the meeting today, I do feel was not calibrated right. I still gonna take my gain. I know I had a gain, but everybody around me was saying that when they weighed at home and then they came to the meeting today, they weighed about half a pound more. I am a conspiracy person. I always have a conspiracy theory going on. My theory is they recalibrated the um, scales and added an extra half a pound to kind of throw you into the mentality that you need to lose, you need to be a little bit more mindful. And the next week they're going to put it back to the right thing so that you're actually going to lose that half a pound. So you might not have as big a gain as you thought and that'll give you the incentive to keep on. That's just my conspiracy thinking. I don't know. But just for the fact that the five people around me all said that they weighed almost a half a pound more on the scale at, at uh, Weight Watchers than they did at home. It makes me tend to believe that. Okay, that made no sense, but... I, I believe in conspiracies. I, you know, don't get me started on it. I have so many, I can't wait till I get to heaven to find out what, I, what I'm right about and what I'm wrong about. So anyway, this is the menu and this is the program. And uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and I will see you uh, next Saturday and then I'll wish you a Happy New Year. So I'll talk to you. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Well, here's the recipe for the gingerbread meringue tarts. Uh, it looks like a lot of work, <laughs> so I will not be doing this. But if you do make it, let me know how you liked it. it um, it's five points. Wow, that's a big point. That's a lot for uh, 
makes eight cookies.